everybody. All right. Woo. Cool. Hey, thanks a lot for coming tonight. Uh, I'm Gordon, in case you didn't know, <laughs> and I'm going to be playing some tunes for you. Um, uh, most of these are originals. Um, most of them are ones that I produced myself, uh, except for the ones that I'll be talking about. Uh, this is one that I've done mostly myself, or all myself. Uh, it came from a jam. Boy, it'd be nice to do jams in person anymore, wouldn't it? Uh, anyway, I just started playing this uh, set of chords, and I liked it, and went home and made a melody out of it, so... All right, here we go. It's called Dumpster Diver. Please enjoy. Thank you. 
That was Dumpster Diver. Cool. Thanks for showing up. Um, it's going to be a little clunky in between these songs because I am my own engineer. I'm a crew of one, except for my lovely assistant over here, Angie, who is um, saying hi to everybody and letting me know, is anybody online at the moment? There are 10 people online, but I cannot view them. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'll take a look in a minute. There are 10 people online. I'll take a look in a minute. Maybe I can see. Hi. Thank you for coming. Lovely to see you. You can't, you can't click the, the, the online and see. Oh, well. I we'll go to the smaller window. Anyway, we'll try. You know, hey, it's, a n it's still t new technology, right? I hope, I, I'm sorry that's making noise. But um, anyway, uh, yes, so this is my uh, quarantine concert number five. Um, upgraded sound, except for the sound of that mic, which sounded terrible. But um, I'm, I'm glad you're here. And... Um, I just want to say to everybody, I hope you're safe at home. I hope you're wearing masks. I hope you're washing your hands. Uh, this is a scary time, but, um, you know, be vigilant. Um, and also, you know, I hope, I know some of you went out and, and marched. I went to a march. Um, that's also something we need to stay vigilant with. We need to stick with um, because, uh, you know, not everything is solved with a march. Uh, we need action. We need culture change. And um, so I know a lot or most or even all of my friends are lovely people. And I know that you want the right thing for everybody. So um, thank you very much. Um, and uh, I'm wearing a uh, Los Angeles over violence t-shirt, which is um, Peace Over Violence. It is an organization that my wife works for. Um, and they are a uh, domestic violence uh, uh, agency that helps uh, survivors. They have a hotline, and um, it's really important, especially in this time when we're all, when everybody's stuck inside, uh, that uh, uh, survivors of domestic violence uh, need a place, an, a safe place. Um, so, you know, hey, if if you want to give somewhere, if you feel like you'd like to contribute. That's a great place to contribute. They also take volunteers, of course. Anyway, moving on. The next one is called Freedom From Fear. Um, this, is, this is a little reggae number. Um, I actually just came across the uh, original audio note that I made on my phone, and apparently I, I just uh, uh, came up with a melody. I don't even remember doing it, but I came up with the melody, and then I guess I came up with the chords after. Um, so anyway, and so I hope we all can live in freedom from fear.
cool. All right, cool. All right, thanks. Thanks for coming. Let's see. Let's see if I can see if anybody's on. It's. It, I've got several screens going on here at once, so it's hard for me to tell who's on. Oh my gosh, I see all sorts of people. Wendy Horowitz, Sue Zyke, Sue, uh, Wendy Horowitz again, Neil, Meg, thank you so much. Azo, cool. Angie, there she is. <laughs> Angie, Angie, Angie. All right. Jimmy George on fire, baby. baby. Uh, 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 Jimmy George uh, is... Uh, uh, not only a great player, but he's also um, a, a, a recording engineer. He's got a cool little setup at home uh, in um, in uh, Central Texas, and uh, you're going to be hearing a rec uh, recording or two uh, that he did um, for me. All right, so the next one is Glutton for Punishment. It, uh, well, you know, I don't know. I don't have anything to say about it except here you go. Thanks, everybody. Oh, Meg, Meg, right? Oh, yeah, I think I said hi to Meg. All right. So this next block of tunes is um, in tribute to an old friend, uh, Carlos Lopez. Um, uh, back in Austin, um, he was part of a great uh, uh, band, a prog band called Grass, and I got to know him through them. Uh, Grass was also of Maupair and Yarley Lillimon, and um, they were around Austin for many years and uh, put out, uh, I think, four albums or more. Um, I'm on one <laughs> a little bit, uh, doing some group shouts, um, and then I needed to make a demo, and um, and so uh, 
I uh, had a couple of tunes. I didn't have a band anymore. And so I needed uh, guys who could play to play um, these tunes that I'd made up. And so I hired um, uh, Carlos and Mo to play bass and drums, uh, drum and bass. And um, yeah, they learned my tunes. And, and Carlos, man, he, ha- you, I wish you could hear just the drum tracks uh, because. I, I, w- I remixed these b- backing tracks um, for this show, and I heard some things in there. Th- this is like 19, uh, 2001 we did this recording. 2000, yeah. And I remixed this and heard some things in it that he was doing that I hadn't heard before. He's doing this crazy little thing. When I'm doing this little two-handed magic trick on this first song, in the background, he's doing this, this, this fluttering with his bass drum feet. That it that I hadn't even noticed before until I was listening this time around. So he was amazing, and um, I'm really glad to keep his memory and his playing alive. Um, my lovely assistant handed me a couple of more things to say hi to: Sean Rainey, Robert Pearson, Brenda Varda, Bianca Pear, Jimmy George, yes, Christy Kral, thank you, Christy, uh, David Nielsen. I can't. Oh, Shiway. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Gigi, Mike Rotman, man, y'all, I really appreciate you know, all of y'all. I hope this is entertaining for you. Um, this first song, as you can see on the the set list, uh, is called Flem Thrower. And the reason it's called that is uh, actually was um, influenced by uh, Jeff Beck. And I saw him live. And um, I think that night or the next night, I went home and was fooling around with something that I kind of stole from him. And I realized that the main lick that you'll hear in a moment, um, it sounded like you got something caught in your throat bleh, a little bit. And so uh, that's where the name comes, Flamethrower. And I like goofy names, so that's where it comes from. Anyway, Carlos, man, wherever you are, love you. Thanks for playing on this stuff. Here we go, Flamethrower.
something like that. All right, cool. That ending, that ba da 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 um, even though I kind of screwed it up, uh, Carlos, I play it, and then Carlos is uh, mirrors it, like ba 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 da ba, and in the recording, he he got pissed because he couldn't hit it, even though it sounded fine to me. He was like. He couldn't get it, and I found the original recording, and and I told him to just okay, just play it again, just keep playing it, keep playing it after the recording was over, and you can hear him go da 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 shit, da 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 da, damn it, da 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 da, it's hilarious, hilarious. I loved hearing that. Dave Shoop, Dave Shoop, you are here and you are awesome. All right, this next one is called uh, Diminishing Returns, and it's a. Uh, Another play on words uh, because it's based on kind of a diminished lick, half diminished lick. If you want to be uh, real picky about it, um, and also diminishing returns. You've heard the phrase, and anyway, aren't I clever? Uh, but you can uh, tell uh, the King Crimson influence on this one, uh, a big influence on me back in the day. Uh, diminishing returns uh, with featuring uh, Los Lopez and uh, Mo Pair. Thank you. 
Cool. Oops. I love playing that one. Oh, I, look at that. I didn't switch my little graphic. Okay. Well, now we're going to move forward. Uh, yeah. D I hope you noticed the amazing rhythm section that was going on in that one, man. That There's that one slow part where I'm uh, kind of muting it, and um, it, it's like in all of a sudden it switches to 6-8 or something like that. That was totally Carlos. He came in with that idea after they had listened to it. I sent them a tape. Yes, it was a tape, and uh, it might have been a CD, actually. Uh, and I, I paid them. I, want, I had this demo I wanted to do. It was, and I, wanted, I had two songs, those two songs, for them to play. And I wanted to pay them. And they were both like, no, no, no. And uh, I said, no, really. I want to pay you guys because I want to tell you yes or no. I want to be able to tell you what to do. So I paid them five. I, we had two rehearsals. I paid them five bucks each for a rehearsal and 25 bucks for the recording each, I think. So uh, what they both made. Uh, so I, they both made <laughs> $35. All right. But I thought it was a pretty good investment anyway. So this last tune is uh, the aforementioned band Grass. And the reason I'm doing this tune is not just to play along, but I actually jammed with Grass a few times. Um, they had a really cool house over uh, by the old airport and um, in Austin, and um, I would jam with them. And um, I played, we played a couple of gigs together, um, and I played with them on a couple of tunes. And this is one of them. And the reason I picked this song, neither none of the guys are singing on this. There's no vocals on this. One of their few. But the thing about it is, um, uh, the reason I'm playing this one um, is it's badass, and also. Uh, I had my kind of my own part instead of playing along with what Yarly Yarly is playing guitar on this one instead of just playing along with them I kind of had my own part with it and so I will do that now and it's called Megan Swings Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Well, Carlos, I hope we're, you're drumming on that big, big drum kit in the sky, man. You know, you haven't been forgotten. All right. I'm going to do a little switching. I'm going to switch guitars and play some stuff. Um, thanks again for coming and listening. Uh, you know, in this time of crisis, Please give to your favorite charity, Food Bank, maybe. Uh, always a good one. Uh, Peace Over Violence, very, very good and worthy agency. Um, stay safe. Wear your mask. 
Uh, oh, if you want to buy a mask, I am selling masks. Uh, go to my website, gordonwimpress.com, and you can find a, a link to go to my store to buy um, masks. I'm not making a lot of money. And you know what? I'm, you know what I think I'll do is uh, uh, any mask that is bought during this show or because of hearing it on this show and uh, and you uh, uh, tell me that you did it, I will contribute not only uh, what I got off the mask, but I will match it. And I'll contribute it to uh, Peace Over Violence. So, hey, win-win. You get a mask and Peace Over Violence gets some support. Um, again, really great agency. Um, so, that was the Carlos block. Uh, I'm going to do something now to kind of cleanse our palate. Uh, as some of you know, I have done, a, in the past, I've done a bit of film scoring and orchestration. Um, and uh, I, I don't know what caused me to write this, but it's, uh, I decided to write what can you say? A spaghetti western tune, something that was inspired by the great spaghetti westerns of the '60s, and um, and they had a lot of like uh, guitar with a bunch of echo on it and stuff. And so uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to say hi to John Houston, my nephew, who's also a very good guitar player. Also, notice I say also, <laughs> he's a very good guitar player and a great artist as well. And uh, Tara Inden, man, thanks a lot. Uh, Really appreciate y'all coming in. All right, this one's called Spaghetti Tumbleweed. Spaghetti Tumbleweed. All right. This next tune, called Confused Surfer, the reason it is called that is because I wanted to write a surf tune. But I'm not the world's cleanest player in the world, like so many of these great players like Dick Dale and all that. So I needed my own G twist. And so uh, it has a measure of six. <laughs> thrown in that you will hear and it's also kind of an obtuse lick um and this uh song features from that same session where carlos and mo played for me um this uh features alan reisner another great drummer really solid pocket 
Um, he's playing on this. He got this. He didn't have any rehearsal on this song, I don't think. And he got this song immediately. So that was like, so it, it was it was beautiful playing with him. So, um, Alan, if you're out there, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> okay, Confused Surfer. That was the great Alan Reisner on those drums. All right. Now, this next one. The next one is, oh, my gosh. A ro Mike Robbins. Sandra, Sandra Miller. Nice. Who's, what's this one? Joan. Oh, Joan. Joan, thank you. My sister-in-law. Appreciate one of them. Thank you for coming. Uh, Sandra Miller, thank you so much. You've always been very supportive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, hey, honey, could you bring that mask, the, the, my uh, new one? So, this next one is written for uh, my cousin, Bob, in, uh, who lives in Massachusetts. Um, used to be a restaurateur, and he used to own this cool, uh, or be part owner of this cool restaurant called um, Elephant Walk. There was actually a couple of them. And um, he, one thing that he did was marketing. And, um, and so he wanted to do, uh, he did do a series of videos and asked me to um, make some music for one of them. And so I did. And uh, it's called uh, Chillifant. 
and that is the name <laughs> of this song. And this is sort of an extended version. That was a quick, like, uh, I think it was a 45 second video or something. This is a bit longer, so this is like a, a jam on Chilifant. So here we go. Well, that was a, a lot of thrashing about, wasn't it? All right. Uh, this next one is another one uh, that I wrote for a friend. Oh, uh, my lovely assistant bit, did bring me, uh, I wanted to talk about masks. I mentioned masks earlier. Uh, this is a mask that is made from my art. Um, and you too can own such a thing. Um, if you go and to my website, gordonwimpress.com and go to the art page, there's a link to buy masks um, from a store and with my art on them. and anyone that you purchase uh, i just decided uh anyone that you purchase uh and mentioned to me that you did uh, and heard it from this thing i will donate my proceeds and also match it and i will send it to peace over violence which is a wonderful agency here in uh los angeles anyway moving on we have Sean's hot car. Some of you may know Sean and his hot car. Um, Sean and his lovely wife, Kathy, are, um, uh, well, they're lovely people. Sean has a cool car, and they love, like, um, Roots Rock. They love dancing and going out and uh, cutting a rug 
and uh, a lot of rockabilly and kind of stuff like that. So again, just for fun, I wrote this tune for Sean and his hot car. So here we go. Thanks, Sean, for having a cool car. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do one more guitar. We're gonna do one more guitar change here. Um, again, thank you so much for everybody for coming. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you are uh, able to do okay in home. I'm, I mean, most of my stuff is done on a computer, so I can work at home and I can. I have no pants on under this. No, I'm kidding. But um, please take pr protections. When you go out, the, our states may be open, but the virus is still there, man. So just be be careful, all right? Take care of yourself. We need you. We need uh, we need your support. We need uh, people who support musicians. We need people who have uh, conscience and uh, who get out there and uh, do the right thing. So, okay. Uh, this next one is, yes, it is that Frankenstein. I put it on here other for no other reason other than it's really fun to play. Um, this is a backing track that I don't know, I'm sure where I got it, but it's it's a little cheesy, but it's really fun. It's such a fun tune to play, and it kind of fits into the genre of the instrumental rock. Um, and also, and don't worry, the uh, drum solo is shortened. It is a uh, radio play version of the uh, the drum solo, so. Here we go, Frankenstein.
Now isn't that fun? Oh man, so much fun. All right. Well, gosh, we've already come to the the end of our little time together, and I thank you so much. I'm, I've got one more tune for you. Oh, I got Pamela, who is on the line with us. Thank you so much. Well, you showed up just in time for the last tune called No More Lies. Uh, this also features Alan Reisner um, who uh, on drums, who um, he, uh, I, I hired him, like another, like, I'm so cheap, like uh, 20 bucks. I mean, that's like what I could hire. But he came in and he played a couple of songs with me in uh, Jimmy George's studio. Uh, and Jimmy George is this wonderful player and uh, engineer um, who lives in Central Texas. And I happened to be there visiting. And I said, you got some time? Let's do a tune. And so um, we did a little recording. Um, I didn't have a name for it at the time. I called it Boom Crash Splash plus um, Psychedelic Freakout. And you'll see why it has that name. Uh, but uh, I ended up, I used to have a songwriting partner named Leslie, and we uh, had a duo called um, Yes Go. And um, this was a song that I never intended. I didn't think anybody could sing over it. And uh, because I, uh, I mean, the first part, yeah, but especially the second part, well, she figured out a way and she used to encourage, I, I like this, and we'd played acoustic a lot. And I'm like, nah, no, nah, I don't want to play this, you know, it's, uh, and she would encourage me to play it um, acoustically. And um, she was right. It was really fun. Anyway, uh, unfortunately, I don't have Leslie here to sing with us. So we're doing the original uh, instrumental version of No More Lies. Once again, thank you so much. Be safe. Uh, love you all. Give me a second to tune up here. I'm going to tune up one quick second. This is something we should tell our government as well, don't you think?
<laughs> thank you, my lovely assistant, Angie. Thank, thank, <laughs> <all right. laughs> thank you so much for, for listening, everybody. Love you very much. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Take care. That was Jimmy George's ending, by the way. He's the one that's that uh, that decided uh, or talked me into doing that. Mo, we're live from SA. I'm just seeing everybody who's left. Gigi, thank you so much. Azo, Mo, Jimmy, Pam, Wendy, Sandra, you're all awesome. Thank you so much. Take care.